board pays tribute to the women whose health made it possible. To American women everywhere whose valor on the industrial front has sped the day of victory. Staunch were our modern women as they answered their country's call. America's victory in World War II depended on our ability to dramatically expand manufacturing. With many men overseas, millions of women rolled up their sleeves and went to work. My name is Mary Torres. I'm 97 years old. My name is Marion Suze. I'm 94 now. I'm Ruth Edwards, a 97-year-old Rosie the Riveter. My name is Frances Tanell Carter. I live in Birmingham, Alabama. And during the war, I was a 21-year-old lady who was planning to be a school teacher. But the war came on and I wanted to do more to help win the war. My name is Ruth Wilson and I'll be 99 years old on my next birthday. During World War II, I was one of the 600,000 African-American Rosie the Riveters that helped to win the war. My name is Agnes Moore, and I was a welder during World War II in the shipyards at Richmond, California. I'm Catherine L. K. Morrison. I became a Rosie in January of 1943, when I went to work for Kaiser Shipyards in Richmond, California. Without those millions of women, dubbed Rosie the Riveters, to build ships, airplanes, tanks, and other equipment, America would not have been able to scale up wartime manufacturing and defeat the Axis powers. During the war, I was a sheet metal worker at the Philadelphia Navy Yard. I helped to build the USS Valley Forge, which was an aircraft carrier. We built 747 ships during the four years of the war. I worked on, as a riveter on B-29s. It was a work that I'd never done before, none of us said, but we were trying to get the war over and get the boys home. I worked until the war ended. I was an expediter working in the machine shop. I'm proud to be a Rosie, and I like the, uh, the uh, fact that we helped during the war, working in a defense plant, and the impact that we made on women in the workforce. It meant a lot to me to be able to support my country in its time of need and to help win the war. I'm proud that I could do something to help my country and they could use a skill that I, that I had. Well, today I'm really surprised at how highly in the estimation of other people that roses are held. They admire us for the job we did and we feel that it was a job they would have done had they been there also. I'm proud of today's women who are following the lead of those millions of women who worked on the home front during World War II. Rosie, I have been all my life for this country. I lived through the Depression, I lived through everything. And this country is the best country in the world. I would not want to live anywhere else. And if they had another war at my age, I would once more sign up at 97 and I can start building ships again if they want me. Yeah. How's that?